what is your title? Um, I have a number of titles. So I have, okay, so my government jobs, I'm the Chief Occupational Medical Officer, and then that's, that's with Workplace Safety and Health. And then my public health job um, with health, the Department of Health, is Medical Officer of Health. And then I'm also uh, an assistant professor with the university, um, psychotherapist, hypnotherapist, uh, life coach, speaker. I'm now a best-selling author, apparently, I found out today. Um, what else could I tell? Oh, I'm, I'm also the founder of uh, Med Resurrex and the creator of the Med Resurrex hypnotherapy app. So, so have, it's like a mouthful, I know, I'm sorry. It's like, it, yeah. Well, you don't be sorry. I mean, we're here because you just I got- I do everything. Yeah, and you just got an interesting title that you are gonna be awarded with, the most influential Filipina in the world, first of all. Yeah. What does that mean? And tell me, how did that all happen? So with, with how the FWN works, which is the Filipina Women's Network. So this is a global network. Started off in the United States and then it became global. Like, so it was like 2006, I think, is when they, it was, the organization was created and it was mainly American Filipino women, no, Filipinas. And then I think they went global in 2013 and they have these awards um, basically to, I guess, uplift and support Filipino women and make sure that they're, the women that are doing this kind of work, like Filipinas in the world that are doing this kind of work get, um, I guess, accolades for it. Lenny, the old vice president of the Philippines, is also was awarded that award. I know, it's, it's a little, it's a little bit like, if you think about it long enough, it's a little bit, I don't know, I feel a bit sick about it. <laughs> like, sick. Like, like, no, almost it's like nauseating because it's like, oh my God, that's so much pressure. So part of FWN, when you're an awardee, you have to commit to actually nominating somebody every year which means I'm now on the lookout for like noteworthy Filipino women. Yeah. So it's like, it's I, cool. get to, I get the, yeah, that's, that's a good thing, right? From all like, over the world. Well, I'm looking at, I'm looking here. I always look at like my people first. As the most influential Phil, you don't want to say this all the time. What is some advice you can give to the people at home listening, you know, watching? What advice would you give them? A couple of things. I talked about this a little in my speech too. One of them is knowing your why. And so if you know what your why is, if you have a strong enough why, you can handle any how. So if you really have a thing like that you, you're committed to, it doesn't matter what they throw at you. you just, you'll just try again, you'll just try a different way. So I think that's a really important piece of it. Um, challenge the messaging. So just because you might say, oh, I don't think I can do that. Or, I'm too young, I'm not rich enough, I'm not whatever, educated enough, I'm not, like challenge those beliefs because those are just limiting beliefs. You don't actually have to accept that just because you might, someone might even tell you, you're too old to do this. It's like, well, no, I'm, I am who I am now. It doesn't, the age is just a number. So yeah, step aside. You're not helping. I'll just keep going, right? 